So Google didn't just launch a new AI model, they upgraded their recently released lineup of thinkers and added a new member to the family, Gemini 2.5 Flash Lite. These aren't your typical chatbots. The Gemini 2.5 family pauses to think before responding, and the results may surprise you. As if that's not enough, they quietly slipped a tool into the hands of developers that could beat Claude. I'm talking about Gemini CLI. Today, I'll break down how this changes everything, from high-stakes reasoning tasks to dominating the command line, and yes, how it stacks up against Anthropic's Claude. Let's break it down. What makes Gemini 2.5 different? The big headline here is thinking budget. Every model in the Gemini 2.5 series has reasoning capabilities, meaning it can decide how much thought to put into your request before it replies. It's like giving the AI a moment to process rather than blurting out the first answer. This approach provides better accuracy, more coherent responses, and models that are aware of the task complexity. And the best part? You can control this behavior using a simple API toggle. But Google didn't stop there. They've created three distinct models under Gemini 2.5, each with its specialty, price point, and speed profile. Let's start with the heavyweight, Gemini 2.5 Pro. This is the most powerful model in the family. Google optimized it for coding, agentic tasks, multi-step planning, and complex decision-making. Do you need to debug a massive code base, automate multi-agent workflows, or answer technical questions that require deep understanding? Gemini 2.5 Pro is your go-to. And the specs? Content window. It features a massive 1 million token context window. Therefore, it can read large files, analyze lengthy documents, or track your code base. Performance. It has top-tier reasoning, which is best for advanced problem solving. In one test, it was able to debug a 2,000-line program, write new tests, and even optimize parts of the code without guidance. This is the model you want for big jobs. Availability. Stable as of June 5th, 2025. And pricing. Available through Gemini Code Assist, free for individuals, or via Vertex AI. This model is already powering tools like Cursor, Replit, Windsurf, Cognition, and even GitHub integrations. So yeah, it's battle-tested and works efficiently. Next in line, Gemini 2.5 Flash. And this one lives up to its name. Gemini 2.5 Flash is built for speed. It's fast and efficient, and here's the twist, it still thinks. You're not giving up reasoning, you're just getting it done faster. It handles most reasoning tasks well and executes high-volume, high-efficiency work. Flash is ideal for summarizing thousands of customer support chats, analyzing product reviews, or generating content at scale. When it launched back in May 2025, it had a confusing two-tier pricing system based on thinking versus non-thinking usage. But now, that's gone. Google simplified everything. Here's the breakdown. Context window, 1 million tokens. Pricing, updated. Number one, 30 cents per 1 million input tokens, up from 15 cents and two, $2.50 per 1 million output tokens, down from $3.50. That's an upgrade from the preview version, and now it makes Flash the most balanced option in cost and performance. Bottom line, Flash is what you use when you need intelligence but don't have time to wait. Thinking, always on, no special toggles required. And use cases, ideal for summarizing thousands of reviews, generating emails, FAQs, marketing content, or assisting customer service bots. So you're getting a smart model at a better cost, especially for tasks that run at scale. And then there's the newest member of the family, Gemini 2.5 Flash Lite. If Pro is the strategist and Flash is the all-rounder, Flash Lite is the high-speed specialist. It's perfect for tasks where you don't need deep reasoning. Think document classification, real-time transcription, live summaries, embedded systems, or analytics where you don't need complex thought. But don't let the light label fool you. Even though it's fast and lightweight, it still supports grounding with Google search, code generation or execution, function calling, URL context injection, and model context protocol, or MCP. It just doesn't think by default. That part is off to keep it fast. But if you want to enable reasoning, you can do it with a simple API parameter. Pricing? It's cheaper than Flash, though Google hasn't released exact public numbers yet. They've confirmed it's their lowest latency, lowest cost model to date. And yes, it also supports the 1 million token context window. Now, here's the beauty of it. You don't have to choose just one forever. 
You can mix and match models depending on your task, switching between them on the fly based on budget, speed, or reasoning needs. It's like having three different brains, each one optimized for a different kind of thinking. Let's bring this to life with a few examples. Scenario 1. Developer Troubleshooting You're building a SaaS app and need to debug a TypeScript error across multiple files. Solution Use Gemini 2.5 Pro for multi-file understanding, precise debugging, and agentic code execution. Scenario 2. AI Newsletter Creation You need to summarize 20 AI news articles and generate social media captions. Solution Use Gemini 2.5 Flash for fast, high-quality content that still feels human. And Scenario 3. Voice App Transcription You intend to run real-time transcription for a voice assistant or summarizing Zoom calls. Solution Use Gemini 2.5 Flash Lite for maximum speed and minimal cost. If you're getting value from this breakdown, hit that like button so YouTube knows it. And if you don't want to miss out on more deep dives like this, from AI model wars to jaw-dropping tools like Gemini CLI, the incredible tool we're discussing next, subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notified the second a new video drops. It costs nothing but helps us bring you tech updates. All right, back to it. So we've covered the brains behind the operation, but now let's talk about what you can do with them. Because Google didn't just launch thinking models, they handed developers an AI-powered command line agent. And it's free, open source, and already being called the Claude Killer. What exactly is Gemini CLI? Gemini CLI is a powerful, lightweight, open source AI tool that brings the Gemini 2.5 Pro model straight into your terminal. Think of it like ChatGPT, but one that lives natively in your command line. No browser tabs, no switching windows, and no API keys or billing pop-ups, unless you want them. Just fire up your terminal, type Gemini, and boom, you're chatting with a full-blown multimodal AI model that can read your local files, understand your code base, run commands, troubleshoot bugs, and even connect to tools like Google Search or MCP servers to fetch live information. Example prompt? Try typing, summarize all code base changes from yesterday, and it'll intelligently parse your Git repository, search web documentation if needed, and return a structured summary with fixes, new features, and file diffs. Here's where Gemini CLI flexes. It offers a massive usage limit for free, 1,000 free requests per day, and 60 requests per minute. That's not a typo. Compared to Claude's code interpreter or even ChatGPT's terminal wrappers, Gemini CLI offers the most generous free tier usage limit in the industry today. You can run complete project workflows without worrying about capping out mid-session. And to unlock it, all you need is a free Google account. Just log in and you're granted a Gemini Code Assist license. Unlike Claude 3 Opus's 200,000 context window, this license leverages the Gemini 2.5 Pro model's 1 million token context window. That's enough to fit a massive code base, documentation files, and multi-step conversations and still have room for your follow-up questions. Gemini CLI isn't just about chatting, it's built for power users. Here's what it can do out of the box. File manipulation. Read or write from files, folders, and entire repositories. Command execution. Run bash scripts, diagnose terminal errors, and automate tasks. Dynamic debugging. Feed it a stack trace. It'll not only explain it, but offer fixes. And prompt grounding. Use built-in Google search integration to fetch real-time results and feed that context into your query. Example. Write a Gemini Discord bot that uses an FAQ file in this directory or use Google search to get the latest React 19 changelog and rewrite or match it to this component. Yeah, it can do that. Unlike Claude's browser-based tools, Gemini CLI runs natively in your terminal, offering direct access to your file system, shell scripting, and automation support. It's fully open source with plugin capabilities and built-in Google search integration. Features Claude lacks, making Gemini CLI far more extensible, hands-on, and powerful for real-world developer workflows. If you're working in VS Code, Gemini CLI also syncs beautifully with Gemini Code Assist, Google's AI coding companion. Code Assist employs the same Gemini agent system as CLI, meaning you can switch between terminal and IDE, or integrated development environment. Inside VS Code, you get multi-step agent planning, like asking it to refactor this legacy service into microservices and watching it plan, test, and execute the transition for you. Even better, you get all of this for free on every Code Assist plan, including the entry-level tier. Installation takes 60 seconds. Here are the steps. 
Number one, ensure you have Node.js v18 plus installed. Number two, open your terminal. Number three, type bash, then npx at google slash gemini dash cli. Number four, authenticate with Google or a Gemini API key, or use npm to run it. npm install dash g at google slash gemini dash cli, or gemini. And number five, done. You're now running a multimodal AI right in your terminal. No DevOps pain, no backend setup. It's still in preview, yes, but Gemini CLI already feels like a new trend. Not just for what it does now, but for where it's headed. And the best part? It's open source under Apache 2.0, so developers around the world are already contributing extensions, submitting fixes, and building something greater with it. If Claude is the polished black box experience, Gemini CLI is the open toolbox you can build with. So between a family of reasoning AIs and a command line agent that could replace Claude, Google's gunning for dominance. But what do you think? Is Gemini CLI the future of coding with AI? Or are Claude's agents still in the lead? Let me know in the comments below. And if you learned something new today, hit like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. See you in the next one.